but you should definitely shop around as Baiyi allows you to purchase items at their typical retail price uh, and Baiyi is ideal for rare items or Japanese exclusives that have a huge markup price if they're purchased outside of Japan. Hello, people of the world! This is Jason is Lost, Japanese culture, adventure, and uh, unboxing lots of Japanese stuff. So, you're likely aware of a handful of Japanese retailers that do send their items abroad, but most don't. Uh, for example, Amazon.jp or all of the individual uh, retailers on Rakuten. And this is where Japanese uh, proxy buying websites come in. Uh, they are agencies that, on your behalf, will buy these items from the retailers. They'll have the uh, boxes shipped to their warehouse and then they'll consolidate all your items and they'll send them to you. And so I was very pleased when I heard from buy.jp. They wanted me to experience their service, go on their website and buy some things, have them shipped out to me, and then tell you all about my experience. And uh, they gave me an allowance of some vouchers to purchase a few items. And uh, I've had this huge box delivered to me and I'm really looking forward to unboxing it. So let's take a look. So we've got this huge box here, uh, lots of different things inside. I'm excited to show you. Uh, on the side here, it's actually written in pen, Arukoru 9%, which might give you a slight clue of what could be in here. Um, it gives me a chance to talk about the uh, international shipping options. If you've ordered stuff from Japan before, you know there is Seamail, uh, which uh, takes the longest, but is the most affordable. It's the best value because, uh, especially considering how heavy this box is, uh, if you send it up by a plane, uh, it's going to be a bit expensive, but I didn't mind waiting for this. So this box, I've actually been waiting about, what, over two months. Uh, it's been sitting in a shipping container. I don't know how long it was on a boat for. <laughs> okay, um, so lots and lots of uh, these uh, polystyrene balls. It looks like this is what I've ordered. Um, I feel like the, uh, the hedgehog in the Christmas advert. Do you know the one I mean? Um, check it out. Basically, Baiyi um, offer a protective packaging service. It's like 1,500 yen, um, but it is recommended if you're shipping stuff, especially if you're shipping stuff via Seamail. And like I say, this is sat in a shipping container for over two months, um, just as a precaution. <laughs> Okay, I'm really excited. Um, there's, uh, well, I bought a lot of Gundam items. Uh, let's show you this properly, actually. Yeah, this is uh, a special 7-Eleven uh, version of this kit. Uh, it's got it's 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 got a big 7-Eleven sign. Um, one of the main chains of, uh, of Konbini convenience stores all over Japan. Living in Japan for a year, you end up going to these convenience stores a lot, and you just really get used to the aesthetic and the colors. Um, this is like a recolored version. It looks really cool. I can't wait to put this together. This is actually uh, a really good example of why you would use a site like Baiyi. Uh, items that you just cannot get outside of Japan. Um, exclusive items. I believe these itself, they were only available from 7-Eleven. Okay, so they've really packed this one up as well. <laughs> so this is the act guy. This is uh, basically just a cute treat for me. Uh, one of my favorite uh, mobile suits from the Gundam series. Uh, how do I explain this? Um, so I'm not really a fan of traditional robots or anything that looks too much like a transformer, but I like the weird, the creepy, the the, the odd kind of goofy robots. Um, and the act guy is just perfect because it, when you see it in reality, it's kind of menacing, kind of weird, kind of scary, but just as much like goofy and weird and peculiar. And, and because it's quite cute, it's become quite popular. And you've seen here, this is actually uh, the actual ad guide, but again, another 7-Eleven limited edition um, color variation of it. So there's different colored parts, different colored stickers. Uh, this is, again, it was only available at 7-Eleven and um, really love the 7-Eleven colors, but also it is one of my favorite mobile suits. Uh, really interesting, can't wait to put that together. All right, do you want to see something cool? This, uh, actually, let's open it up. 
so we've got another Bandai Gundam kit here. This is the prototype Goof. Uh, very excited for this because they're very hard to get hold of. So I should point out, regular Gundam kits you can buy all over the world, but you will find them cheaper in Japan if you wanted to order them. Um, but one particular reason why you would use Bai-E, for example, is that these premium Bandai kits, they're only available from the Bandai website, premium Bandai website, or particular um, uh, Gundam stores in Japan. And so they're really only available uh, from Japanese retailers. So very hard to get hold of outside of Japan. And if you're paying for them outside Japan, you're going to pay an extortionate amount for them. So it's worth taking a look on Bai-E. Okay, what is this? It says... Suntory. So, what do you know about Strong Zero? Um, Strong Zero are incredibly popular, incredibly alcoholic, they're 9% these cans of um, Japanese shochu and sake cocktails, basically, all lots of different flavors. Uh, what's in here? There you go. Bitter Rime. Bitter Lime flavor, 9% cocktail. Okay, another big box here. I know what it is. It's shaking like more cans. <laughs> All right, so more Strong Zero cans here. I should say they're very heavy to ship, but they're very, very cheap to buy in bulk. So it's up to you. There's more lime there. Lemon. Um, lemon. Grape. Grape's a popular one. And lastly, another Gundam kit. So here we are, this is another Premium Bandai Gundam kit. This is a variant of the Zaku 2.0, Robert Gilliam's Custom. Uh, it's a very cool blue color, uh, the kit, and i um, very excited to put this together. Again, another item that would be so expensive to purchase outside of Japan. So of course, with all these Gundam kits, we'll be doing unboxing videos and review videos. Can't wait to take a closer look at them and show them off. Uh, but first, let's talk a little bit more about Bai and my experience with them. So here we are on Bai.jp. As I mentioned, Bai got in touch with me, offering some credit vouchers to go towards some purchases from Japanese retailers via their website. Uh, in exchange for evaluating their service, making a video about my experience, this isn't an ad. I'm here to talk about the positives, the negatives, just an honest review. And I'm pleased to say that I had a mostly positive experience. I think it's a great service. I'm happy to talk about what they provide and uh, how they're different from similar services, my recommendations on how to use the site. So buy.jp is a subsidiary of Tenso. They're a proxy delivery service like many others where you order the items and have them shipped to Tenso's Japanese address and Tenso consolidates the packages and sends them out to you internationally. Uh, the difference with buy.jp is that they handle the purchase. Uh, it's really handy if you want to save time, if you don't know much Japanese, they do all the work. So firstly, I must say that Bai is designed for buying from Japanese retailers that don't offer international shipping. If you can have a retailer ship items directly to you from Japan, you may be better off, but you should definitely shop around as Bai allows you to purchase items at their typical retail price. Uh, and Bai is ideal for rare items or Japanese exclusives that have a huge markup price if they're purchased outside of Japan. So make sure you search in Japanese and you'll be using Bai's website to search for items from all the retailers that use Rakuten, all the retailers on Yahoo Shopping, you've got Yahoo Auctions there as well, or using the Chrome extension, you've got access to hundreds more dedicated retailer websites, Amazon.jp, Anime, Village Vanguard, there's loads of fashion shops, do check the list for yourself. Now, the Bai website itself is simply hosting the information of what's available on their own page, and they will link you to the store's website, which will have more information, more pictures, the domestic shipping fee, for example, that's very important. You can simply purchase stuff from Bai's own page and add it to your basket there, but sometimes items are noted as being unavailable. No stock, for example, but it may not always be accurate. And the retailer website may be more up to date, might be able to order it fine. So my number one tip is to use both the Bai website to search for what's available and uh, see what's out there. And once you're on the retailer site, use the Chrome extension to add the product to your Bai basket. Now, be aware that you are due to pay any fees that you would normally pay for. For example, the domestic shipping fee. You are paying for that item to be sent to Bai's warehouse from the retailer. Now, often this uh, charge is isn't that much. Often uh, it's quite common on Amazon.jp to not have any domestic shipping fee, uh, but you really should shop around for the best price. So tip number two, take your time and shop around. 
You might find the item you're looking for in a different store on Rakuten or Yahoo. It might be slightly more expensive, but the domestic shipping charge might be lower, making it cheaper overall. On the other hand, the higher the value of the item you're buying, you're possibly increasing the import tax you're due to pay when it finally enters your country, so it is up to you. At the end of the day, you are responsible for the domestic shipping charges, Bai is simply paying for them on your behalf, and you'll pay for it at the end of the transaction. If it's unclear how much you're going to be charged, or you're unsure, find another retailer that you're comfortable with. So you sign up to the website, you'll enter your contact information, delivery address, bank details are stored on your account, and your account is charged when Bai's order is successful. Once your items are at their warehouse, you're given an invoice for your domestic shipping charges, as well as any Bai handling service fees. These aren't expensive at all, and you can even avoid them altogether if you don't want to have insurance or want to gamble on receiving whatever the retailer sends to the warehouse. Bai do have some additional fees that are easy to understand. There's a fee for combining two packages. There's a slightly higher fee for combining three or more packages. There's a fee for adding additional packaging material. I had my package shipped via Seamail, the cheapest method, uh, so it wasn't a shipping container for over two months. They recommend the extra packaging for that service. And while I found the amount of packing material to be ridiculous, there was so much in there, I didn't mind the expense for being on the safe side. I'll add that their international shipping fees match the Japan Post estimates that I looked for, so I don't believe they're making any money on top of those fees. You'll choose which international shipping method you want and you'll pay all of these fees at once. So while researching criticisms about the site, the most common one that I saw was about unexpected fees which I didn't experience myself at all. Most criticisms were for unexpected domestic shipping fees which as I mentioned you really need to keep an eye on before you buy as you are liable for them. Be aware that within Rakuten and Yahoo, there are hundreds of individual retailer sites and they will count as individual transactions with their own charges. So my third main tip, shop around and try to purchase as much as you can from one retailer within Rakuten or one retailer within Yahoo. This may reduce your combined domestic shipping fees and your warehouse consolidation fee because it all may turn up in one box. And also, let's go straight to tip number four. Make sure you click the option to cancel your order if a single item Item is unavailable. Otherwise, the available items will be ordered on their own and all your effort to buy everything together and minimize your fees will be undone. As I mentioned, the Buy website search listings may not be up to date in regards to stock. I myself had a couple of orders cancelled in this way. It's more work, but again, you have the opportunity to reorder. Definitely use Buy Search, then check the retailer's website and use the Chrome extension to add items to your basket. And there we are, a summary of my personal experience with Buy.jp. A positive experience, I would indeed recommend them. I didn't use Yahoo Auctions, but from what I gathered, it's very similar to the other auctions. Japanese auctions have much more random, at times cheaper, at times much rarer items, much like eBay, but you have very little idea of what the domestic shipping fee is going to be. So again, you'll have to experiment with that and be aware that you're liable for any domestic shipping fees. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure I can help you out in the comments below with any questions about my experience or using Baiyi. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing too. Do stay tuned for a closer look at all these rare Gundam kits that I've got here. We'll be unboxing and building them on this channel. If you're a fan of unboxings, do check out out my recent Fukubukuro videos, unboxing those Japanese lucky bags filled with all sorts of random items, lots of mystery box fun. And so I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.